guys it's just not a but you can just call me cj so we are going to be talking about how we can add records to our air table base and this is going to be through what we call form i'm going to show you guys how to do it so when the form is submitted it's going to take it to an air table base get all your data into an air table base and from the air table base it's going to send an email to the person who just registered with their email let's dive into this laptop now, this is um the whole data set has been created i'm going to go to edit n so as you can see we use the webhook all right but before we do this we have to first move on to tally this is tally i'm going to add a link in the description we all create we then created a form and then from here we are going to then fill the form so now you see i'm about to fill the form we then come here as you can see we linked our editable base after linking our editable base we mapped out the fields that we are going to need these are all the fields we are going to need and then we also added the gmail right at gmail we also mapped out everything we need to do in the gmail and from there you can now say okay send message we all did that so it's just going to be a simple workflow like this it's so straightforward it doesn't have to be so complicated just webhook air table gmail and if you want to also add you want to you want to also ping your team or your your members or maybe people in your company you can just like also link them to this and and then it's just going to go so from here now i can just click here test workflow and it's going to be listening now waiting for the trigger event so if i come here and i click submit you're going to see that now yeah and voila workflow executed successfully and then when i come to the table as you can see it has been added successfully don't forget to subscribe it's worth it